Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Mechanicum Serastus Knight Atrapos. What a mouthful. One of these Serastus Knights will set you back a whopping £194, which is £99 more expensive than a normal Imperial Knight or £94 more expensive than the than the Knight Castellan. All of the Serastus Knights on Forge Wild are £194. It's right here in this uh, box and this and this is a very special day for me because today I have completed my Serastus Knight collection. I just need to build this one and then I've built all of the uh, Serastus Knights. A few people have highlighted uh, how humongous my knife is uh, that I've been using in, in some of the unboxings and things. So I thought I would take it to the next level and show you my small one. Um, and uh, still pretty efficient, still very sharp, of course. Thank you Forge World for putting the receipt right on the top. Um, comes in this quite cute little cardboard box with some bubble wrap with one of these white boxes. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's almost 200 pounds guys and it would be cool if it came in a, a fancy box, but um, you know, it, this is where we are. Uh, there's just so many products now that I don't think that I could, you know, put a picture of uh, the knights and things on these, but this is your standard uh, medium sized white box held together with a couple of bits of tape and uh, if we just unbox this oh, come on you know you want to there we go more bubble wrap and the new bags oh these are nice and cold lovely it comes in two bags two bag techless seems odd having having these models in, in two bags, but uh, you get the base and you get when it was checked by 24th of February. I've, I'm unboxing this on the 5th of March. So this is very fresh. This is a nice fresh one, guys. The instruction guide is the other way around for some reason, but uh, here it is. And this is not the instruction guide that you get with all of the other Serastus Knights. Um, this is very, very nice. This is actually my first uh, CAD instruction guide for uh, a Serastus Knight. Um, lovely. They're all the parts. You get 50 unique parts, and obviously some of those parts, um, there are duplicates, quite a few things there are duplicates. I mean, look, there's eight ankle piston cylinders and eight ankle piston rods, so already that's 16 parts. Um, my best guess is it's probably closer to 100 parts. Um, a little bit about preparing the model. Um, it tells you everywhere, guys. There's no excuse, um, really. This is a guide to building resin model kits. Um, it says preparation, check for cleaning, um, checking and cleaning. So you uh, check all parts, uh, clean each part in warm water with good degreasing agents such as dishwashing liquid and an old toothbrush. That's exactly what I do. I have no issues with any of my models. Um, there are some pieces where the uh, releasing agent has kind of become one with the resin. That's very rare, but if that happens and you're sure that that's happened uh, after you've um, washed it, send Forge World a, an image, send Forge World a picture and uh, they usually be, are able to um, investigate and send you a replacement part. But then casting the gates, the mold line is very important, shims, warp parts, and then assembly. Look, green stuff everywhere. You know, this, this is part of, this is part and parcel. This is nothing new. This isn't a surprise if you're working with resin or these kits. Um, the tolerances are good, but remember, these aren't machine made. These are made in molds and they're like handmade almost. Each part has to be taken out of the molds by a, by a human being. Um, anyway, uh, this is uh, how you um, build it. It's just fantastic seeing this um, together on, on this CAD instruction guide because the other nights, all of my other three nights did not have these instruction manuals. They just had the quite old um, black and white A4 pages. But yeah, this is how you put it together. 
straightforward if ever you built one of these knights before. There's the uh, Graviton Singularity Cannon plates, weapon support pistons, and the uh, neck and the head. And there you go. Um, looks like you get a couple of banners. That's nice. Uh, I might go, f you get two optional banners, cool. Right, so anyway, that's the instruction guide, that's the base, that's the box. Let's have a look at uh, the parts themselves. So this is a, an interesting bag right here. These are the new bags, by the way. Uh, you'll know that they're new because they've got this uh, this writing and then it's all blocked there, which is, it, well, it sucks really. I would have preferred if it didn't have the white background. I get, I get why they do it so that you can read it, but you could probably still read it if it was just black on transparent. And uh, it means that as, spare parts bags which is what I use mine for they're not as good maybe or maybe they are because you can sort of see the parts against that white back backdrop maybe it's easier I don't know but I use them for that uh, so this is the first bag this is obviously one of the legs let's have a juicy uh, look at these these in the detail lovely rivets uh, I don't know what it is with the 412 kits recently but um, you know, like some of the Titan weapons I've ordered uh, have just been fantastic with the amount of detail. Oh, lovely rivets there. I say lovely rivets, it's going to take me ages to paint them, isn't it? Let's face it. Um, the shin armor, nice rivets there. I'm, not, I'm still not sure whether to paint this gold or silver, like many people have done. These are the hips, they look tiny. Um, maybe it's because I've been holding Warlord hips for a while. Another armor piece. Uh, this is one of the uh, the banners. Let's have a look. It's cool that you get two banners. I really like that. You get a uh, thin one and a thick one. That's pretty nice. Wish I'd have known because I probably would have put this one on the other nights. Um, I might I might still put it on a Mechanicus night. Uh, another one of the the legs. Some of the pistons. This is the uh, shoulder housing. Now what's up with the focus today? It's a bit odd. These are the shoulders where the arms will go into. Pretty nice detail on them. These are the feet, I think. Bottom of the feet, I wanna say. Um, you've got these petals for the Singularity Cannon. Very nice pieces. I'm gonna have my petals open. I like it when the petals are open. And then um, there is the rear. And the power plant, I think. And the uh, heat sinks, I'm guessing. This is the throne, what you find inside. It's a pity that all this detail is kind of obscured unless you wanna not glue the top carapace onto your, your knight. Um, it's up to you really, if you don't want to glue it. You don't have to. It stays on there quite firmly. Um, this is the other part of the, uh, the feet there. This is the head. Wow, look at this. Obviously it looks a bit, oh, there we go, it's that way. Wow, all one piece. Plenty of detail in there, plenty of lenses. I do like this head. I mean, I know it's a, a little bit different from the normal knight heads, but it's cool. I like this one. Plenty of cable bundles. Speaking of which, here are some cables. I think that's for the hips. Um, more, more legs. And these are the lower legs. Going down to the ankles. Um, I'm guessing this is to do with the weapon. These are the arm mounts put the weapons into, or connect them to, and then here are all the toes. Um, same parts, just uh, replicated. I think they are numbered the same as well, number 32, for all of those toes. Um, so that's uh, the first bag. This is the second bag. So I'm hoping there's some weapons in here. And there certainly is. So you've got the top carapace armor piece. Oh, lovely. Loads of deep, oh, so many rivets. In fact, too many rivets, one may say. Um, wow, wow, I'm gonna have a field day with all those. Really nice piece though. There's a little bit of slippage there and a little bit on the edge there. That is repairable. Uh, but nothing on the front, so that's good. 
Here's one of the weapons, look at that. Is it the uh, laser cutter, last cutter? It's a bit bent there. I'm not sure whether that's part of it. I don't think it is, so maybe I have to unbend that. Yeah, I don't think that's part of it, but that, that is lovely and ribbed for your pleasure. And some more cabling, lots of detail on that. Looks, uh, looks like there's more detail than on the plastic kit, the Canis Rex. This is a Singularity Cannon. Oh, amazing. Going to be great painting those uh, energy bundles, those energy converters. Wow, that looks lovely. I think it'll go that way with the petals open. I've already thought of a pose of this one. The others, well, the Lance I, I did think about pose, but the other two I wasn't really thinking too much about poses, but this one I thought of a pose. These are the um, shoulder pauldrons, nice mechanicum looking shoulder pauldrons. Both exactly the same. Plenty of rivets again. This kit is just rivet city. Uh, load of pistons and some exhausts. I do like the exhausts on these Erastus Knights. They're a bit more kind of futuristic than, uh, than the normal big exhausts on the normal uh, Questorus Knights. Uh, some of the, the other shoulder mounts. And more of the arms and more of the shoulders. More pistons, more shoulder mounts. And uh, this, which I think is for the head, and some more pistons. Um, got a couple of sides for the um, main body. Loads of detail in there. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, with plenty of rivets. You know, you can put as much detail as you can, but these are two different pieces, although they're kind of mirrored. Uh, they're mirrored in sort of that way, rather than, yeah, that way. Um, this is another part of the body. So, uh, remember we had the back and the um, sort of throne, uh, I guess you call it, in the other bag. We've now got the, the front with all the cables and the part of the neck where the two armour plates will go. Uh, speaking of which, we've got the, I think this is the Goy armour, lovely kit piece, uh, another cable bundle, and this awesome looking chest piece, one of the best looking chest pieces with that big cog. More and more rivets on the rear as well, wow. So instead of having two pieces that will go on individually like the other knights, this has got the two pieces joined together. Um, and then I think that's just part of the hips, so you can, you know, the model. So there's all of the, the parts and uh, my unboxing of the Mechanicum Serastis Knight Atrapos. You can use it in 40k, there are rules uh, for it. It's pretty decent, uh, the rules are in this awful book. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, what do you guys think of the Serastis Knight Atrapos? By the time this video goes out, I probably would have taken the dive and purchased the um, Magira and Styrix. So the last night I've got to purchase is the um, Asterius and that will be coming to the channel at some point and I'll do a full showcase of all the knights along with a couple of uh, Moiraxes. Anyway, what do you guys think of the Serastis Knight of Trapos? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down below as always. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.